everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I promised for a really long time, which is the iPad review. The last video was a spoof because they didn't actually send me the iPad. They sent me the uh, Apple Pencil before they sent me the iPad, so I had a whole like two week waiting period before I actually got to draw on it. So this one's just going to be a review of Procreate, some of its features, and the overall uh, experience of drawing on the iPad. So I hope you guys enjoy! So first things first, I had to do exactly what I did in the last video because apparently I didn't learn that I can't use my nails to open it and I have to use scissors. Oh my god, my little recording studio is so hot. I'm under a blanket right now. And here's the box, nice and sleek with the iPad. And here it is, super pretty! Also, um... It's not really fun- oh, you can see my camera right there. It's not really fun to peel the plastic off of these, so um, I don't think I'm gonna show that in this video. But it comes with a little charging cord, and then behind that little box is its uh, big charging hub. It's bigger than all the other um, iPad things- or not iPad, Apple ones that I have. All the other ones are pretty small, but this one's pretty large, because this one actually takes a really long time to charge. It, do it takes- I mean, the battery lasts a good while, but um, charging is a hassle. You gotta- you have to charge it all day if you want it to get charged to 100%, which I'm not really used to because my iPhone takes probably like 3-4 hours. And here it is, turning it on. It's so nice to open, first of all. It's such a step up from a drawing tablet because it requires so much less coordination and it's like a piece of paper. So I'm gonna open up a new canvas. And it comes with all these different presets that you can use, but I'm just gonna make my own. I believe I set it to 3000 by 4000, uh, which by the way, you can- it'll tell you even right there how many layers you can get with each, um, with each canvas size. The higher you go, the less layers you're gonna be able to use, which is why usually I would work in 5000 by 5000, but, um, it doesn't let you go that high without you only getting like four layers. And for some people that might be an issue if you use a lot of layers and you try to paint really big so that's not for you, if you do that, you're gonna want to get um, the newest iPad that has a lot more storage and allows you for a lot more layers in Procreate. Now, firstly, when I first opened Procreate, it's a super nice program, super sleek, everything is where you would think it needs to be. It's pretty easy to figure out like the basics, like a selection tool and all that. There is some sort of learning curve if Procreate's the first iPad program you've ever used, but other than that, you know, it's pretty easy to figure out where things go. Control is pretty easy, the only problem is that you can't go very big with your brushes. I think there's a place where you can change that, but as of now, I haven't really figured that out. Um, I have been using Metabang ever since I got it because I, I didn't like Procreate. It's got a lot of cool features, like you can screen record with that like super duper effortlessly, and it's got a lot of cool brushes, like um, the ones that I show you right now. That's like They've got rough brushes, stuff that actually looks like paint, it's got textured brushes, which is super duper cool. My favorite one was the water one because it makes it look like actual water and it's absolutely amazing. There's also the fire brush, which I thought was super duper cool, if you can see it in the video right now. It just fades out and that is super super cool. There's also another one that's a light glare and that allows you to make light glares to make it look more realistic. Um, really really easily just like the fire and the water and all that here's me trying the water brush out it's in black so it doesn't really look like water right now but if you were to put it in white with like a blue background it would look absolutely amazing just like that see it looks a little more like water i didn't use the right background color because water doesn't usually look dark blue but um yeah it gives you a better example of what the water looks like here and then this one is more for like ocean types which is really good if you're drawing a background with an ocean and not with like straight up water because those are going to look very different so i can show you guys how i drew this and what brushes that i used although it doesn't really show you like what you're clicking on but it does show you a really good time lapse so i'm just going to go voiceless for this part because it's uh it's just a speed paint um and then you guys can see how everything worked out and i will come back after the time lapse enjoy
kinds of videos I think for now that I'm gonna really do. I have a bunch of other stuff planned, but I'd rather have fun with it because we're in quarantine and I really need something fun to do. So I hope you guys come back for the next few videos and um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.